They are the best of the Mountain West for 2012-2013. New Mexico's Kendall Williams is the player of the year in the Mountain West. The leader of the Lobos ranks among the conference leaders in seven different categories, including points, assists, scoring, and steals. Bingo, baby! Williams set a league record with 10 three-pointers in a Mountain West contest in a pivotal win at Colorado State, which helped the Lobos win a regular season championship. It means a great deal, but uh, I think it reflects the team more than anything. Um, you know, coming into the season, I just wanted to really improve on my leadership, and I think that's been shown, and to be appreciated for the leadership aspect more than anything uh, uh, means a great deal. The Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year is Kim Birch of UNLV. Birch blocked a league-high 48 shots this season, averaging three rejections per game. Floater blocked by Birch. Tip Birch blocked at least one shot in each of the 16 Mountain West games. That's what I am, and that's what I've known for my, like, my whole life is defense. So, you know, that's how I get going in the games. And when I block a shot, that's what makes me get going, not scoring. Uh, blocking a shot, that's what it does. Fellow Rebel Anthony Bennett is the Mountain West Freshman of the Year. The 6'8", 240-pound native of Canada was the league's top freshman scorer, averaging over 12 points per contest. Bennett, slam dunk! He also ranked sixth in the league in block shots and rebounds. But, you know, coming from Finley Prep, you know, just playing against uh, the top players, um, you know, everybody uh, has great talent. You know, just worked on my game every day, and when I came to, to UNLV, you know, I just felt like I was in the right place. The newcomer of the year in the Mountain West is Colton Iverson of Colorado State. The big man in Fort Collins is the only player in the league to average a double-double in conference play with a league-high 10.4 rebounds per game and a seventh-best 14.6 points per game. In his one and only season as a Ram, Iverson led the league, shooting over 60% from the field. My teammates are amazing. Coach Stacy is doing an outstanding job with us. We've all bought in. He's bought into us. And uh, I think, uh, I mean, the season's not even close to being over with. we got a ways to go. But um, if things are, keep going the way they're going right now, we'll all be pretty happy at the end of the year. Daniel Bejarano, also of Colorado State, is the Mountain West sixth man of the year. The six-foot-four sophomore provided valuable minutes to a senior-heavy team this season. He got down the lane. His floater is up and in. Bejarano averaged over five points and nearly five rebounds per game off the bench for the Rams. Being a sixth man, coming in and uh, looking at things first before I come in, and trying to trying to bring that uh, energy and helping helping the team the best way I can. Uh, defense, uh, offense, uh, rebounding, getting steals, you know, being being on the floor. You know, so I feel like that's that's my role, and I was I was fine with it. The Mountain West Coach of the Year is Steve Alford from New Mexico. Alford led the Lobos to their fourth Mountain West regular season crown and second outright title. This is Alford's third Mountain West Coach of the Year award. A special group of young men to be in a league that's arguably the best in the country and to lead it wire to wire and win it uh, speaks volumes of what these guys have been able to do. For more on the all-conference teams, log on to the MWC.com. For the Mountain West Digital Network, I'm Jesse Curtis.